nobody has a monopoly of innovation if you begin to think seriously. People have good ideas in terms of an, uh, an engineering product, but they haven't thought about how it's going to be manufactured. There's a realization that skills, innovation and knowledge are playing a major part. just over three years um, and the idea is the, uh, came from Nick Hughes who uh, was the founder of M-Pesa. So when he left uh, Sparkom he came and he was thinking about what to do next and he uh, thought about maybe we can use solar and we can use M-Pesa to pay and, uh, and fund solar products. So Nick Hughes was with Safaricom and he yeah. thought of an idea and now came out and started to make it. Yeah. I, I wonder, was there a point at which um, there was a debate between importing the device or making it locally? I'm sure there was and maybe you can... Uh, so when the company was very small, uh, we had, had to go look externally for somebody to help us. The, the, the founders were business people, not necessarily engineers, so they went to find a company uh, that would have the knowledge to be able to design the product. Um, after working with that in that process, for about a year, we decided to build our own engineering team, and so we've been selling our own product for over a year now. And so, uh, clearly, it, it means that it makes more sense to manufacture it here than to have it manufactured, say, outside somewhere and then imported, yeah, in we, terms of business. Yeah, we'd be very happy to be manufacturing in Kenya. So what part of it do you do here presently? Uh, we have a team of over 20 engineers. We do all of our hardware design here, we do firmware design here, and we do product testing. Um, so we go overseas to do some prototyping, but everything else is done in Kenya. And how long have you been in Kenya yourself? I've been here for three and a half years. Okay. So do you, do you foresee that there will be greater content uh, being manufactured here from what you've been able to, to, to glean in uh, your three years here? Do yeah, we're very excited that you're bringing the ability to prototype here. Uh, and we're definitely we're expanding, we're pro piloting four products right now, so we're expect, trying to expand our product range and all of that development's being done here. So it would be great to be able to prototype those devices here and of course eventually manufacture here. Congratulations and we look forward to greater success for Mcopa and a lot of other companies that will come up doing similar stuff. Okay. So thanks very much Thank for sharing. So please, my coffee. It's my pleasure to call up here Simon Mwaura to talk to us a little bit about what he does. Simon, karibu sana. Thank you, Dr. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. So now, since the days that we met, which was about four years ago, I think, huh? uh, you came into the Fab Lab, you, you shocked us all by how quickly you learned uh, how to you know, program uh, microcontroller chips. You even started teaching university students how to do this. Sure, sure. Um, I wonder now, could you tell us a little bit about what brought you to this particular product that you're doing now, the car tracking system? Towards the experience that I got from Fab Lab by then time, I looked uh, to see that technology I need to take it to the next level of owning a product locally that can actually create revenue on my side because at the end of the day technology has to have an income to me. So I really wanted to concentrate on some product and uh, I thought uh, car tracking because of the theft issue that is there for vehicles is a good uh, benchmark to start with. And all through I have been now uh, co-working together with uh, other peers in the Fab Lab to see how this technology level can go. And at the end of it all, I've been able to come up with a product, locally product of car tracking device, which for now I have installed for about uh, 300 uh, vehicles for now. And I believe some of the companies, corporate companies, are using like Sassini. They are all my Sassini is one of your clients. Yes, that's one of my clients. Their fridge cars are still on my system. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, I can say that's the kind of product actually I'm enjoying for now, okay. which is actually having a revenue. Although still so, the house automation is part of it. Oh, very good. So uh, from my last check uh, in the sector, yeah. I remember that there were something like maybe 12 to 13 companies that are providing car tracking solutions in Kenya. Yeah. Now, we all know that if I am a businessman, I can probably go outside there and order the whole thing and give them the specs and say, make this for me and even put my brand name on it and send it to me packaged and I'll start to sell it. Yes. That's not what you do. No, no, no. So what do you do? Do you it, design the actual circuit? Exactly. And what goes around is uh, because of my car tracking device, I look at uh, virtual local needs that most people that, uh, they have 
And when you look around the external devices for China and all that, there are some features that mine has and they don't have. Because for so me, the generic the generic solution might have some some features that are not really tailored yeah, exactly, to our tailored environment. To our, and that's yes. the key idea okay. because we want to design our local technologies, which is based in solving our local needs. Yes. Okay. So based on uh, my tracking device. I can add, uh, actually customize it the way the client needs it. So I just look around uh, the most of the needs of the client. I design a universal thing that most of people can accommodate. So this is very exciting for us, I think, uh, and, and really we wish you the very best. You also do a home automation product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. That one, after being featured with the analog devices, so that was so big. I still think this technology, still I need to take it to the next level. And um, uh, what I did is just I shrank the same technology to a board. And um, through the, the same board, I can be able now to pack it, the device, and uh, make it a sale. For this one, I'm just making it to sell it to individuals based in on the each and every current uh, interest. So, so some, like, give me an example. You have somebody who's bought it. What, what does this device do? What does this system do in the home? Uh, like, okay, let me just give a scenario where uh, the guy who took the, the first uh, videos for the team making, the Henry Gedaiga, that's one of oh, the, 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 the reporter for Citizen. He came and uh, by that it was done. Later on, he settled at Kikuyu. Uh, two weeks time, uh, his, his house was stolen. Uh, he was robbed. Every, he was robbed, actually. Everything was robbed. And uh, he remembered the story he has done for me. So he reviewed the same thing to me. And I went to his house. Right now, he's using his phone to lock the doors, to put out the sensors, to, kill, to, right, to switch on the right at a comfort zone. So since that time, that's already done. And Fantastic. many others have done for them. Okay, so you, you get a board like this made yeah. in China. Exactly. And then you put the components onto it exactly. here. So this is the, what you're doing. It's not assembly, it's manufacture. Thank you very much and all the best. Exactly. Okay. So next we have a very exciting company uh, called Brick. And it's spelt without the I. It's B-R-C-K, Brick. And Brick is a de design and engineering company for hardware that is providing um, communication solutions across the continent in emerging markets as well, even beyond the continent. In fact, this product, if you look, pick it up and look at the bottom, it says designed in Nairobi, Kenya, but made in the USA. And this is the thing now that this meeting today is here to discuss. How the, not only the design can be done here, but also the manufacturing can be done here in Kenya. Brick is already selling in about 50 countries around the world, so that's remarkable. A Kenyan product, electronic product in about uh, 50 countries in the world, and we're really looking forward to a lot, lot of other developments in terms of market share for this company uh, very soon. I'd like to call Yasin Bare up from Brick. Yasin, how are you? So for me, it's very special because I taught this man at university, and it's wonderful to see him now uh, as a very productive engineer working for Brick here in this building. So Yasin, tell me a little bit about the, the Brick product. What does it do? Well, basically, so the Brick is all about connectivity, and we want to connect everybody in Africa. But how do we do this? So the Brick is uh, uh, basically a combination of three existing uh, uh, technologies that are combined into one product. So we have the mobile. Um, uh, 3G connectivity, you have uh, the modem, you also have a Wi-Fi router all in one. And uh, what we want to do with this is we want to take this to Turkana, we want to take this to Mandera, we want to virtually connect the whole of Kenya and the whole of Africa. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, like we just spoke with Simon about design here and so on, what, what currently is, is the production process that, uh, where is it being done, what's being done where, what's being done in Kenya and what's being done outside? So uh, uh, in terms of the brick and also other products that we have, all the uh, conceptualization of the product, what is it going to do in terms of uh, the electronics, in terms of the design, how is it going to look, in terms of uh, how, who are the people are going to use this, so in terms of even the user experience, all of these are done in Kenya. The only uh, uh, aspect of the brick that about 60% is not done in Kenya is uh, much of the manufacturing, much of the assembly, and that one we outsource in the US. Yeah, I, I think I saw somewhere that in some countries, if you if you manufacture forty percent of a product, you can say made in made that in. country. So, so let me ask then, what are the plans? Uh, you want to move uh, more of the production here? So, uh, definitely, and that is something that we're really keen on because at the moment the cost of, of the brick is not very conducive to the local like uh, citizen in Kenya, and moving the manufacturing here would make the device cheaper. Would make us. Turn out more versions of the brick easier, and also in terms of 
now bringing our whole aspect of connectivity. It will be much easier if the product is cheaper, if the product is available locally. So fantastic, because a lot of people, as I was saying earlier, believe that uh, actually it's more expensive to produce here. But we obviously you've looked very carefully at the product and you've come to an understanding of what parts you can make here affordably and, yeah. and, and remain competitive. In fact, be more competitive than, than you are present before. Yeah. Uh, basically, when you look at any electronic product, there are some parts that you can't afford to manufacture here. The components that involve, those are, those are a lot of companies that are producing. Like on your board, different chips come from different companies, different components come from different companies. But the things that will make your device cheaper is producing the rest of the device here except the components. 